yeah, it's, it's brilliant. I mean, this place, it feels like home and being here already this morning is feel comfortable you know every, most people like no nothing not much has changed so that's it's I was brilliant. gonna say there's not a lot changed here in the two years <laughs> since you were last here <laughs> all the same people are still here aren't they is that what makes it so warm and welcoming to come back yeah because everyone that I've met here and even the new people I've met today the ones from before I've had a, a great relationship with so it's it's a joy to come in to this place and it just makes me smile so it's all good so you left two years ago after the playoffs and went to Cambridge because you wanted to be nearer to home. You left with a heavy heart at the time. What was it like, you know, leaving and going to Cambridge? Uh, leaving was uh, extremely difficult for me because it wasn't necessarily like a footballing decision. It was one I felt it was it would be easier for me for the, these last two years to be in London as I've got married and tried to build a little base down down south. So it wasn't it wasn't an easy de- decision at all, but. It was one I felt I had to make and I always said to the gaffer, if you want when I've done what I've had to do and if you still want me then I'll, I'll always be available to come back and here I am. So when you got that phone call, because you, you, you was a bit injury hit last season wasn't it, when you got that phone call off John Coleman saying, do you fancy come to play in League One with us, what was, what was your immediate reaction? Yeah it was, it was a no brainer for me obviously, even if it was the club was in League Two, it was just the attraction of the place and the relationship I have with people here and with the coaching staff, with uh, the gaffer and, and Jimmy, and I've heard great things about uh, John, the, the coach, so that was the main reason and the fans and stuff like that, it's a, being away from this place and still having affection shown towards me, it's a, a privilege, so I couldn't say no. And uh, you had to watch the success from afar last year, obviously play, playing for Cambridge, what was it like, did you think they could do it because they upset all the odds really Accrington didn't they? Yeah it's, it's, it's Accrington's story isn't it it's from every year they, they're they not favourite for anything but they always turn up and, and produce and last year the boys had an unbelievable season which from the year I left I knew Accrington would go up at some point because with this coaching staff in charge they they bring the best out of people and so for me it was only a matter of time and last year they completed the job and hats off to them, it's an unbelievable season. I think we'll forgive you for scoring against Accrington as well for Cambridge. <laughs> yeah, now I can apologise for that. <laughs> so you, you obviously had an inju- injuries last season, is it a case of getting fit again for you now or are you fit and back? Yeah, I, f- I feel fit, I feel fine. I had an injury for at the start of the year for a couple of months and then I was fit, it's just at the end there was a few unique situations where I didn't really get involved again, So, but I, I feel fine, I've been training all summer and ready to go tomorrow when pre-season starts. What about looking forward to the League One fixtures, because um, you know, it's quite exciting playing Sunderland and Bradford, or Bradford again and teams like that. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I, I would have come back uh, at League Two, and League One's a, a bonus in my eyes and it's a challenge for everyone and also for myself because I've never played there, so, but for me it's no better partner to say is Accrington to challenge it with so with people I enjoy working with and you look at the fixtures and nearly every team you think oh that's a tough team tough team tough team but Accrington is they're the un- they've always been the underdog so nothing will change and I know the gaffer is extremely ambitious and I expect the same from him next year so they could, we could have a few surprises up our sleeves. And Carlos, your dad, is quite famous around here. Is he very excited that you're back? Yeah, I mean, he's he's over the moon. He, he loves this place and my family love it. So when opportun- opportunity come around, we didn't even really wait for other teams or any other. It was kind of, we want to go back. Everyone has a family kind of thing. And um, so it was just try, try and get back to Appleton and we, we did. And as you say, you've got this different situation now because you're married, you're going to settle here. So it is a bit different to when you were here before. Yeah, I'm. I'm suppose I hope it's going to be a little bit easier because my now wife is uh, hopefully going to move up with me pretty soon, and so I don't have to travel back and forth as much because after a bit it does take out of you. So I felt settled last time I was here, but hopefully this time will be even more because I'll have someone with me.